Hi guys, it's me. I wanted to come on today to show you the application of this new natural foundation I told you about in video one of my 30 day uh, 30 days of vlogging challenge. This is actually day four, so this is my fourth video in that series. And this is the foundation I introduced you to in that first video. This is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and um, this is Deep Sand. So that's the color I'm going to be using. Um, I wanted you to get a feel for um, how I apply the product because as I mentioned, I don't like full coverage foundation. I like a lighter, softer coverage. Um, so I want to show you just how I apply it and how I achieve, you know, a nice um, soft finish that still allows your skin to be seen beneath the foundation, um, but still provide you with that protection. I feel like women should always wear foundation. Um, Normally I use the bare minerals and I feel like it's really important because, you know, in order to keep your skin kind of healthy and youthful, I think it's really, really important to have a barrier between the elements and the free radicals in the air and your skin. So to keep it healthy and glowing and in good shape, I feel like you definitely need that barrier. Um, but for my tastes, I don't want to go full coverage. I want something light. So this is what I do. So I've already added a moisturizer to my skin. And I've already added, um, as you can see right here, I've already added a little bit of, um, of a primer. And I used this primer by um, Black Radiance. It's their True Complexion primer and the reason I use this someone suggested this to me because I think this is the one I think they said this one has clay in it so it's more you know natural than some of the other primers I don't know I can't remember but that was the one I was able to find so I got that one I need to have a primer when I'm using um, a liquid foundation because I have oily skin and so to keep my skin from um getting too oily and causing the makeup to oxidize, I have to use a primer with it. Now, the interesting thing about this Tarte uh, foundation is it's called a liquid foundation, but to me, the coverage is more almost like a mousse. So this is what it looks like on the hand. As you can see, it's not running, it's not moving, and it's actually softened quite a bit um, because it's been on my hand for a minute and it's warmed up you know, because of my body temperature. But to me, this has more of a more of a um, a moussey kind of feel. So I can see how this could be a full coverage foundation, like really, really easily, because <laughs> uh, it is thicker. All right. So what I do is I just kind of dot it on, and I dot it on more in the center of my face, and. I'll tell you why I do that in a minute. All right. I'm actually going to add just a little bit more of this primer to my chin because I just realized I didn't put any, put any on my chin. So if you do that, this is what I do. I actually just dot it on. And then when I um, blend the foundation in, it just blends the primer in with it. All right, so I dot the makeup on kind of in the center area of my face, and then I just take a flat brush like this, or you could even use a kabuki brush, and then I just, in circular motions, I just buff it into the skin and blend it outward. just pretty gently buffing but yeah I just buff it into the skin so the finished coverage is not as how is not as heavy as it, it would be if I just like used um, a foundation brush you know um, I'm trying to see if I have one I don't have one handy but yeah
and see ever so slightly. It just gives you an ever so slightly nice, more kind of even complexion. My complexion tends to be darker around here, but you know, starting in the center and then just blending it out allows you to have that, you know, breathable kind of look and finish to your skin, you know, um, but you still reap the benefits <laughs> of wearing, you know, a foundation. It's just much lighter. And if you feel like you need a little bit more, you know, you can just pick up a little bit more of the foundation and, you know, just apply it where you feel like you need more coverage. I don't really feel like I need more coverage, but here I have this extra. So I'll just put a little under my eye. You know what? Since I've been doing this Daniels fast, I used to have circles like under my eyes or dark parts, dark circles under my eyes, and they have all gone away. So now I know I had that because of, um, for dietary reasons, it was because of my diet. All right, so that's kind of how I apply the foundation. And so I hope that this is helpful. Um, and this is, you know, kind of the, the finished result. So you guys tell me if it looks significantly different before and after. 